Hello all, I uh, thought I'd celebrate actually having over 50 subscribers by doing the 50 questions uh, you've... Oh god, the, the 50 questions, questions you've never been asked YouTube tag, which of course everyone has been asked now because everyone's done it and and this part of me goes, oh I need to be different, but no, this is this is community building, so let, let's, let's get to it. Um, I came to this, I saw Between Lines and Life do this uh, tag, and I thought, wow, this looks really fun. Uh, traced it back, seems to, I think, uh, from Sean the Book Maniac, who got it uh, out of um, a, blog, uh, a uh, Mama Cat's uh, Losing It blog. I'll put the annotations and things. Always, always want to give original credit. This may or may not, that may or may not be a complete falsehood. But let's get to the questions. Whoever, whoever came up with them, thank you very much. Number one, what is your favorite candle scent? None. I had childhood asthma. Uh, number two, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Uh, Tilda Swinton or Parker Posey, depending on what kind of craziness I'd like Christmas dinner to be. Uh, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? I'm going to go with Elijah Woods. Um, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? I was 21. Um, do you know a hoarder? Uh, I know a hoarder through a friend, and boy, that's a uh, terrible me mental, serious mental illness, and I hope that person's um, gotten help and is feeling a lot better. Um, can you do a split? No, I think even when I was in swim club and super flexible, I don't think I could ever do a split. Um, how old were you when, when you uh, learned to ride a bike? I think it was about five or six, and... Uh, Follow-up question, when was the last time you rode a bike, which would be yesterday as I biked home from work? Uh, how many oceans have you swum in? Uh, Pacific, Atlantic, Mediterranean, so I guess three. Uh, how many countries have you been to? Uh, lots, I think about 17. I did the counting up there. Um, is there anyone in your family in the army? Uh, no, and uh, I guess for my family history of having, um, you know, my, especially, I guess, my male relatives, they'd be the ones who would be drafted. Uh, growing up, my grandfather was born 1901, was so was too young to go to World War One and probably get himself killed. And my uh, father was too young and uh, couldn't go to World War Two and get himself killed. Thus, I am lucky enough to be here. And, uh, you know, pat stuff to all the people in the military and the really thankless job and all the really sucky treatment that you you get from all the stories I have and, um, you know, wish the best, wish the best to you. Um, what would you, what would you name your daughter if you had one? And what would you name your son if you had one? And of course the answer to that question for both is Shastakovich, which is why I will never have children because they, they probably just take them away from me for, for doing that. Um, uh, what was the worst grade you got on a test? An F. Um, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Uh, Dukes of Hazards with Bo Duke and Luke Duke and Daisy Duke. Ah, uh, that's the that's a trifecta right there. Um, what did you dress up on? What did you drop, dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Uh, either a bunny, you know, complete bunny suit with the ears, not Donnie Darko, but strict bunny. Or um, not the Ewok, but the glowing-eyed creatures from Star Wars. Because man, I was I was big into the Star Wars. I went to see that in the in at a drive-in movie theater in my pajamas in the back of my parents' car. So uh, I was the right age for Star Wars. Um, have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? I've read all of Harry Potter. I've read all of Hunger Games. I read the first first uh, of the Twilight books, uh, which I went, you yeah, know what? Yeah, Twilight. That book is fine. It's not for me. And so I left it and went on with my life and didn't bitch about it. Um, what would you rather have, an American accent or a British accent? Which, you know, this is, I think, gets into the stereotypes because I think, you know, an American accent means you're confident and a British accent means you're smart and a Canadian accent, which is what I have me have, means you're kind of nice and milk toast and just an excellent person. So obviously I, I, I wish for a Canadian accent, though my mother has a very strong um, cause she's from, uh, she's a, she's just Bromley Kent, just outside of, uh, outside of London. And she apparently has a strong accent, which of course I can't hear. So I may carry around some of that accent in me. Um, have to let anyone else out there know it's probably gone by now. I'm probably just strictly Canadian. Uh, did your mother go to college? Uh, no, my mother was a nurse. And so I don't believe went to a college college. 
uh, and emigrated to Canada to be a nurse. Um, are your grandparents still married? No, because they only married on till death do you part, and they died, and then they parted, I guess. Um, have you ever taken a karate lesson? Yes, I have, and uh, I agree with, I think Mark Nash talked about that, and it was like, uh, that was a little bit too intense for me uh, on a couple of levels. I think I also went with someone who was a little bit martial in his, uh, it felt very aggressive, and I'm just not a very aggressive child. That's probably why they put me in is to try and make me a little bit aggressive, because that, that I ended up getting wailed on. Uh, do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Ah! Yes, I do. Um, what was the first amusement park you? What was the first amusement park you were be, you've been to? Uh, I think it was the Flintstones uh, theme park, and uh, I took a paddle to the back of the head, and we just won't talk tell child services about that. Uh, I still have the scar. Um, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Um, Probably French, because I'm a Canadian, but un petit peu, un petit, petit, petit peu. Um, do you spell the color as gray? Gray or gray? You know, E or A. Uh, because I'm Canadian, I'm completely confused, and I do both, as with uh, a lot of other things. Sometimes I'll put a U in color, and sometimes I won't. And there's all these... I'm very caught between worlds there, and it might be a generational thing, too. Um... Is, is your father bald? Uh, he's not, didn't live long to go completely bald, but I'm going to go with my grandfather being bald, and he, he was balding, and yes, there's, there's, there's that bald spot there, so I, I know what's coming my way. Uh, do you know triplets? No, because triplets are very secretive folk. Um, do you prefer Titan, the Titanic or The Notebook? Uh, I hate The Titanic, and I never saw The Notebook, so yeah. Um, 28, have you ever had Indian food? Oh, dal, um, alagoba, alagobi, yeah, butter chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can figure that one out. Um, what's the name of your favorite restaurant? I completely went blank on this. I like a lot of restaurants. There was one called Michelin's that was here in Victoria. That was a long time ago, but it was... It was great food, and it was also just this wonderful owner, and I, I miss you. And there was actually another one was, oddly enough, at this food court where there was just this, uh, there's this immigrant family who I just feel like it was, it was, um, you know, uh, Thai food, and I, I got the sense they were just basically kind of, they, they were kind of, this was the first kind of way of making their way in the world, and so they just kind of made home food there, and it was just so excellent. So, uh, have you ever been to Olive Garden? Which, I think I've also heard this where, you know, it's a there's a British version of Olive Garden. So I'll translate this into Canadian, which is probably either Tim Hortons or White Spot. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I have. Um, do you belong to any warehouse stores? Yes, I do belong to Costco. Um, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? You'd have to ask them. Um, if you had a nickname, what is it? Uh, if you if you have a nickname, what is it? Buckhead. Um, no, no, that's actually from uh, Jesus' son. You can see that review later in my in my past. Uh, probably Higgins. Uh, number thirty four. Who's your favorite person in the world? That would be Jaja, my little Austrian princess danger girl. Um, number thirty five. Um, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? Which of course I would add answer the city. Um, can you whistle? Yes. Uh, do you sleep with a nightlight? No. Um, do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes. Uh, do you take any pills or medication? That's a very personal question. Uh, what medical conditions do you have? Also, a very personal question. Um, number 41, how many times have you been to the hospital? I think twice or three times that I can remember. Uh, number 42, have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes, but I much prefer uh, Monsters, Inc., and I'm really disappointed with bo the sequels to both of those. Very unnecessary, and uh, yeah. Um, where do you buy your jeans? I buy them at the Value Village, the thrift thing, and this is one of these kind of... I wonder if this is one of these things of... Uh, is this a class thing, or is this a... I notice there's a lot of people say, oh, I haven't bought jeans forever, and it's like, I live in jeans. I don't know if that's just because of... I. I I, my, my nature of my job is I'm either wearing jeans or I'm wearing shorts and I'm very active or if the, there's, you know, I, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm curious about that whole jeans divide thing, but there's, yeah, I was surprised about the number of people who said like, when was the last time I bought jeans? It's like, I have jeans and I have shorts. Um, what was the last compliment you got? Uh, I think it was good daily log notes. Um, 
What do you uh, usually remember? Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Uh, no, except when I kept a dream journal, and then I had to sort of stop that because I kept on waking up to write my dream journal, and I wasn't getting good sleep. But I've got a, I had a couple of notebooks filled with really bizarre dreams. Uh, and um, what was your what's what flavor tea do you enjoy? And that would be Darjeeling in the morning and peppermint at night. Uh, how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? I've got my uh, sneakers, I got my, which is basically 90% of my wear. I've got my dress shoes, which are my 1% of wear. And then I've got my uh, dead, dead, dead sneakers, which I wear in the backyard when I'm picking up dog poop and I wanna, don't want to use my regular shoes and step in that. That might be TMI. And um, I've got my boots, which are great for rain. Um, what religion will you raise your children to practice? And I'm an atheist, but uh, I have to say with like all the religions, you have some, you know, you've got wonderful practitioners in all of them and you also have real idiots in all of them. So I guess, you know, just try and, you know, get, find some good people and hopefully, um, you know, tolerant, good people. If you're, if you're into that sort of thing, which I'm, I'm not really, I'm not into the kid thing. I'm not into the religion thing. Um, how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I uh, don't know. Um, why do you have a YouTube channel? And it's obviously so that I can yak and yak and yak like this, but also it's basically to stop mumbling and talk in full and complete sentences. That's that's the whole whole goal of, of all this, isn't it? Full and complete sentences that communicate to you, the viewer. Um, so yes, that's the 50, 50 questions you've never been asked thing. And I don't know if this it's so popular. This is like, you know, they talk about like um, on Facebook that they were compiling all people's kind of questionnaires and getting a profile so that they would then vote for Donald Trump. And well, if, if that's what you're doing, good luck. I'm a Canadian, so it's pretty hard for me to vote for Donald Trump. I mean, I didn't even vote for Justin Trudeau and because he's too right wing for me. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's the 50 questions tag. And uh if there's like one or two people left on the internet who haven't done this, I'd say, hey, go to it. Um, definitely check out Between Lines Life, uh, her one, and I'll, you know, link up some other ones below. I think 